Assalamu alaikum YouTube. This is Ali again. Uh, just uh, responding to Peter's video um, entitled uh, "Allah, the All Loving." Hey Peter. Um, basically, uh, what what I would um, you know respond to that is that the most perfect being does not need any other uh, beings to justify their perfectness. If if that makes any sense, uh, I'll give you an example. Like um, let's say the most perfect uh, computer programmer. He doesn't necessarily need anyone else to prove that he is the, the, the perfect programmer. However, you know, by you experiencing his code, you would know that he is the perfect programmer. So same thing with God. The most loving God does not need uh, um, uh, another being to, to, to show his true love. You know, we, when we experience God's love, we know he's the most, uh, most loving. I hope that makes sense to you. Like, uh, also, aside from that, you know, you 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 mentioned that in Islam we believe that um, God is most loving, but we also believe God is most forgiving. Now, let me ask you this: if if that is the case, then in 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 your in your triune God, who is the sinner? You do understand? Because if if God is most forgiving, then you know either the Father is the sinner. Either Jesus is the sinner or either the Holy Ghost is the sinner for him to be the most forgiving. In your example that you're telling me that in order for God to have the most perfect love, he needs to to have um, another being to, 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 to show that true love. You understand? Also in Islam, we believe that, uh, you know, like one of the, the 99 attributes of God, he is the master of the day of judgment. Now, who is he going to judge if uh, creation wasn't there? See... When we say, you know, God is most loving, we mean most loving to his creation, you know, most forgiving, most forgiving to his creation, you know, master of the day of judgment of his creation. Uh, you understand? So, you know, even though, you know, uh, of creation or of his creation or actually, you know, we don't believe God is a he or a her, but um, just just because English is that's how we speak. Right. Um, but. Do you understand what I'm saying is that if God is the most perfect being, he does not need another being to be to, to show his perfectness by our experience of God that's how we we experience you know what that perfect being gives us hope that makes sense to you and I look forward to your response take care have a good one um, take care assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh